Good morning, and thank you for tuning in, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Welcome to my Christmas in July Facebook Live Friday morning. Hop on, say hi, let me know where you're from. I know we've had some bad weather up and down the East Coast. We've been having some severe wind, uh, thunderstorms, so hopefully the weather will hold out and we can all stamp together for a little while. So I'm just waiting for some comments to know I'm on. Should be coming up shortly. I know there's like a little delay. There we go. And Meg, you're right on time. She's always the first one. So I know I am live. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me this Friday morning. I am actually going to keep this coffee real close because I need it this morning. Hey, Monica. How's my Maui buddy? Okay. So this morning we're going to continue the Christmas in July. I know I was off last weekend because it was 4th of July. So for the whole month um, when I'm on Facebook or YouTube, I will be showcasing Christmas for Christmas in July. Now I know that... Um, Everybody wanted to see new products because I did the unboxing on Friday. I already had what I was going to do set up for today, but there might be a little sneak peek. So let's get started. Okay, again, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. If you'd like to place an order with me, just go to StampersDelight.com. This is my host code for July. Okay, so the first thing is I want to... Just remind you, because my mini catalogs did go out, it says July, but this actually doesn't start till August 3rd, same as the celebration, okay? So this is the July to December, but this year it starts in August. So if you need a catalog, you don't have a demonstrator, just give me a shout out and I'll get you a free one out. I give the first one out free. If you're a, a customer of mine, it already went out in the mail. I also want to just make a note, because uh, somebody asked me this morning, if you're on my team and you got an envelope in the mail, yes, that is the envelope you're going to want for our team chat on Wednesday, and do not open it. It's a mystery envelope until our team chat, okay? So for today, what I'm going to showcase is the tidings of Christmas. Like I said, I already had this set up to do before I got my um, new Christmas items in, but I will be showcasing a new Christmas um, item on my YouTube Live Monday. Okay, so we're going to get started. So this is the tiding Tidings of Christmas on page 88. <coughs> in case you wonder, I do cough and I apologize. I am on the phone all day long, so sometimes my voice gets a little raspy. All right. So this is the stamp set. And of course, the matching dies. And they're all over the place right now because I was using them. Okay, plus I used them for my in-home class. Beautiful, cute little dies. Love these. You're going to see me use some of those in a little bit. And there's the tidings of the uh, tidings and trimmings stamp set. Also, what I'm going to be using, and I want to bring this to your attention because it's the hippos and happiness. Now, this is um, this was a bundle. Now you have to buy it separately. But the cute thing is, if you don't want the hippos, I want you to make sure that you look in the back of the catalog because some of these dies that go to some cute sets that you may not be interested in have some amazing label dies. And that's what I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be using these. You're going to see these. Look at these amazing label dies. So don't miss out. Check that out in the back of the catalog for the Hippo and Friends dies. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is bring in some samples so I can show you. Good morning, Sonia. Good morning, Darlene, Gladys, Angie. Thank you all for tuning in. This is the card we did, one of the Christmas in July cards that we did in class. Now, I have been uh, posting the other ones, so go to my, uh, you, well, right here, Facebook, 
and just uh, keep scrolling and you'll see the other ones I've been showcasing. So this is the first card I did. Thank you, Angie. Yes, don't forget to share my videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers before I retire from my day job on December 3rd. Most wonderful time of the year. And then, of course, the saying. So this is my first card. And this is the one that I did in class. And, of course, that's our ombre glitter paper back there. The next one, again, I used with the, um, the dye for the stars. Um, these were the holiday rhinestones, and these are the new gems. Okay, bring that up. There'll be still shots later on. And here's those tags. This is what I was talking about. These are the um, dies from Hippo. Okay. All right. So we have this one. Hey, Sam. Thank you for tuning in. Must be what time there. Okay, so that was the second one. Then what I did was I had a piece of our pearlized paper. You can still redo the same card using, if you didn't hoard the uh, pearlized paper that was retired, you can use our um, shimmer paper, or shimmery white. So what I did here was I just stamped, again, here's that one of those dies. Okay. This ribbon um, is goes with the sweet. I personally don't like to tie it in a bow. It's too bulky for me, so I just kind of tie it in a knot. So that was my next one. The one I'm going to show you, the one I'm going to showcase this morning is, um, if you look at my YouTube channel or you might have seen another other demonstrators do it, the corner flip fold. How many people know the corner flip fold? Well, this is a fake. Oh, it's 9 p.m. there. Okay. Uh, thanks, Angie. Thanks, Sam. So the corner flip fold card, I did a video on that um, a while ago. And if you search on my YouTube channel, you'll find it. Okay. There are others out there. It's called a corner flip fold. And it looks like this, right? The corner and then you, you flip it. Uh, let me just try to explain something. And go to my video and you'll see. So you would cut your paper in half. And I don't have... Here we go. We'll use this. You would fold your paper in half. And then you cut just a little bit out, like a little L. And you would flip it. Okay? And just... there There is a video out there. But anyway, this is my fake... <laughs> corner flip fold, I'm going to call it. So it looks just like this, okay? But it's not. And I'm going to show you how I did that. And when you open it up, it does look like it flipped, but it didn't. I just layered some um, scraps that I had left and made this card. Let me bring this down. So this is my fake corner flip fold card. Now, I did promise something from the new catalog, so I'll give you a sneak peek of what uh, sweet I'm going to use for Christmas in July on Monday. And that would be the Whimsy. Let me just grab this. I can't show it to you, but I can tell you what page it's on if you already got your catalog. It is the Whimsy and Wonder on page 24 of the new catalog. And here is what I came up with. I incorporated uh, the tidings and trimming with this card. I absolutely love this paper. Now this is another corner fold card and I will show you how I did that on Monday. But you can see I used two, the two different papers and I added the stocking from tidings and trimmings with the whimsy and wonder. Bring it up a little closer. Yes, Megan, Monday night, okay? Monday night I will be using this suite, but for now, here's a little sneak peek. Hey, Peggy, thank you. 
So I will be showing this. Don't you want? You don't want to miss out when it's uh, Monday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. All right. So let's let's take a look at how I did this fake corner flip fold. Okay. We're gonna put that right there. All right. So I started with a piece of our real red. Uh, this one is cherry cobbler, but I like to change it up a little bit when I'm on, so you can see two different colors. And of course, I have uh, umpteen bone folders down here and none where I need one okay so I'm gonna just fold this in half it'll be so nice after I retire and I don't have to rush on Friday mornings right okay that's all there was to that I'm gonna bring in a piece of four by five and a quarter designer series paper that's going to go right there. Now, you, this is your option. You can leave it all this size, or you can slice off a piece. I like to save whatever I can because I usually use it for something else. So let me do that. Let me bring in my paper trimmer. Let's just move this over here. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. Now, the easiest way I find to do this is I'm not gluing it down. I'm just going to take that one corner and I'm going to flip it and fold it. That's all I'm doing. And then I am going to just use my, paper, my bone folder to give it a crisp edge. Now I have a mark there. I am going to take this and right where that mark is, I'm going to cut that off because I'm going to use that for something else. Are you seeing what I did here? Okay, well, I'll show you. So now I have this V, or whatever you want to call it, left over. That is what I did on this piece. When I flipped it, I cut that off, and that's the opposite side of this paper so that I could use it for something else. I'm going to bring this back. Now I can glue this down, because you're not going to see the inside of this. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I'm using the stamp and seal. Oh, yeah, this, these bundles are beautiful. I will tell you, and I, I like to be honest and up front, the Whimsy and Wonder, anything from the holiday catalog, order it as soon as you can. I have a feeling they're so gorgeous, they are going to go on back order. Okay, so that's all there was to it, right? Okay, so we are going to flip this down. I'm just going to go ahead and glue this. Just need a little bit of glue. And then... I am going to bring in two other pieces that I've already cut. Now I'll give you the measurements and I will also put them on later. These are, these the real red are three and a quarter by three and a quarter and they're just gonna get glued right up here, okay? Just like that. So first I'm just gonna put a little glue here and the nice thing is if you fold that crooked, you can fix it by adhering this a little further over. Okay, so we are going to just adhere that right there. And then when I flip it over this way or open it up, you see this is where that flip would be, but there's no flip because it's a fake one. I'm going to go ahead and glue this. I am using the uh, tidings and trimming on page 88. And that is also the designer series paper, page 88 of the catalog. And I'll have all the descriptions in there. And I am just going to layer that right on top of that other red one. Just like that, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And there's my fake flip. Normally it would flip this way, but it's a fake one. Okay. I have two pieces of designer series paper, and these are three by three. And I'm going to use this side the opposite side so we are going to go ahead and glue that down put 
that right in there. I'm gonna open that up. Do the same thing. I'm gonna use, you could use this side if you'd like, but I'm gonna go with the same thing and put that side in there. And you can see that I used different, the um, other designer series paper in that pack for this one. And I am gonna put that right here. Okay. And there's my fake corner flip fold. Now we're going to do some cutting and we're gonna make this a little bit different. Okay, I already cut out my stockings and they're gonna go here. I'm gonna bring in one of those label dies that I did from the Whimsy, and I'm sorry, from the Hippo dies. I'm gonna bring this in, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Now I am going to bring in, let's see, what color do we wanna use? Let's do the evergreen. Oh, thank you, thank you all. Okay, I absolutely love this saying, so this is what we're going with. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It is, Christmas time is magical. It's gonna be real magical this year because I won't be working. And this one is the larger one, I don't want that one. Uh, yeah, I do actually. I'm gonna use, see, I'm using the larger die this time. I'm gonna put it a little bit up here. I'm changing the card a little bit just so you can see a little bit of difference. I am going to put that right there. Now, I am going to lay that flat, and you'll see why in a minute. So, again, stamp and seal. I'm going to put that right there. For this one, I am going to put all three of these just like that. So, for this one, I am going to use dimensionals for the... Um, stockings. Let me just grab my take your pick tool. And you can see I have all the different three different colors there. I have the red, I have the misty moonlight, and this is bumblebee. Don't forget to check out Christmas in July, Scrapbook 101 on YouTube Sunday. That is a pre-recorded. And I will also be using this stamp set. Okay, so I've got three of these and we're just going to, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit and you'll see why in a minute. cute right okay uh, yes this is from the annual catalog tidings of christmas page 88 i'm gonna put that aside for a second now i'm gonna bring in some of the dies and we're gonna do a little cutting so for the dies i am gonna bring in this die right here and this one right here and also i'll bring in the bow okay so no stamping with this but i do have some pieces of paper and for this i can bring in my little mini guy let me just put him out of the way so i'm gonna cut out some little pieces here hey gene and because these are small i can probably do two at a time Put the blue here. Time savings. I'm just putting those two little guys right there. Put them down as far as I can. Wheel those through. Normally I cut, I do this ahead of time, but some people actually haven't used this machine yet. So I wanted to show you how easy it was. I really like the little guy for um, these small pieces and also for using them on my recordings. Okay, let's see if this one fits here. I'm using up all my scraps here. Yep, that'll fit there. Let's take a red one. 
don't really need a long piece, so let's see if this will fit. I think I'll be able to use that. Use up all these little scraps. Hi, Tina. Thank you all for tuning in. Okay, now I actually have some leftover ombre. I'm going to use that too. I don't think I'm going to use the green. Let's do some of this. So again, this is just a small piece that I had left over. And to get it through that machine, we'll do this. We will go with this one. And you see I did a star here. That was for something else. I'm just going to cut that strip out so that I can give it a little glitter. And I need a few of these. Good morning, Joanna. This one. Make sure I don't miss lose my dies at my class the other night. We looked all over for this one, the little bow. We ended up having to fussy cut it out, and then one of my girls found it on the floor. Uh, that's forever my life. I'm always losing everything. Okay, now I'm going to switch this up. I think I'll use this one and this one. And see if I just need a little bit of that. So we'll just go with that. And let's see if that's enough of these little guys. I like to bring it back one. Hi, Kathy. Okay. I have enough of these now. We'll just take a look. Okay. Let's move these out of the way. Put them right back in there. All right, let's move all this out of the way. Okay, so we are going to bring this card back in. And I'm just going to start arranging these. Now, I don't really need that piece, so I'm going to cut that off. Now, you got to make sure that you have it down far enough so you could read your writing, of course. Nope, that's going to go in the red one. Let's see what else we have here. We have blue and another red one. Let's put the yellow one right there. Now, we're going to move him down a little bit. I'll put a red one right here. I didn't glue them down yet because I'm still figuring out where I'm going to put everything. Put a blue one right there. That'll bring that out. Let's do a yellow. Okay. All right. So that's good. All right so I know where I want to put these. Now, I am going to use our detailed glue. You can use our adhesive sheets for little pieces like that, but right now, I'm just going to use our detailed glue because it's very precise, and I only need a little dot. So I'm going to slide that one in there. I'll probably change them all up from what I just said, right? I'm going to put this right here. Let's see, we'll use a yellow right here. Good morning, Trudy. Let's take this one. I'm 
they will eventually stick. Okay, let's do a blue one right there. I'll push that down so you can read the writing. Just hold that for a second. Let's see what else I need. Okay, these pieces I am going to leave here. Just wanted some of those. Let's leave those three right there. Okay, definitely put, close up my glue. I use my finger here to guide it back in. And of course, I got these bright lights on me, so. Okay, there we go. Okay, I am gonna bring in this little bow. I'm gonna bring in my evergreen. And I am gonna stamp three bows. Actually, I'm gonna do four. And real quick, I'm gonna cut those out, okay? Bring this one in. And this, I'm gonna stand up. It's easier for me to stand up. Cut this piece off. Grab that bow and just cut these out. I should have had some of them already cut out, especially since it's hard to see under these lights, but we'll go with it. Okay, I think that's a good one. Thank you, Stacy. Here's one. Oop, that just that just dropped. Move that one. Sorry. Post-it notes work great. They're not on my table right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I moved it again. Did I? No, I was right. Okay. Okay. And one more. Don't forget about this set. I know everybody's excited about the new holiday catalog and all those great holiday uh, stamp sets, but don't overlook this one. This one is so adorable, and it goes with so many in the, the uh, holiday catalog, too. Okay. So there we go. Now we have the three bows. Let's bring that back. Oh, I needed a fourth one. Forgot my fourth one. Let me grab this one more time because I need that fourth one and you'll see why in a minute. Okay. You know what? I might have just missed that, but we're just going to go with it. <laughs> it's all good. No stress in stamping. Oh, actually it came out fine. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these three bows and I'm going to grab some mini dimensionals. There we go. I am going to put those right on top here. You could do different color bows too. So much to do with this set. Put a piece of baker's twine around, you know, and string it up. And then we'll put that one right there. There's our front, but it's not finished yet. We're going to bring some bling in. And for this one, I really want to brighten it up. So I am going to use the yellow holiday rhinestones. Don't forget about these great rhinestones. And these are in the annual catalog. I'm going to take the small ones. And you'll see how that brightens that right up. Look at that. And then I'm just going to take a larger one down here and maybe a smaller one here. And I'll throw one up at the top. Brightens it right up. There's the front of my card. Same idea, just a little bit different. When I open it up here, I'm going to take this 
stocking, you'll see here. I have a smaller uh, piece that I already cut out. And I am going to do the cheers from our home to yours. Again, I'm going to use the Evening Evergreen. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. And again, these are the Hippo dies. Put that right there. We'll put this one right here. And again, put that on with dimensionals. Have this right here. And then my remaining pieces, we'll just tuck those in there. Let me grab my detailed glue again. Um, just a little bit. Put that one, tuck that one right under there and we can, there we go. And then this one. Now you can see this one, I use the holly leaves instead. And for the um, berry, I used the red or cherry cobbler. So it looked like a berry. This one, we're just going to use these because we have these out. Put that one right in there. Okay, and just hold that for a second just so they stay down. Close up your detailed glue. Detailed glue is great for these little, little things, little projects. Again, I'm going to take a mini dimensional. Use that fourth bow right here. Grab one of those. And then I'm gonna grab my white, basic white, and bring in the sentiment. Wishing you a joyful Christmas and a happy new year. I am going to bring in my stocking and I'll do this in the soft succulent. Even though this is lighter, I'm going to tap it off once. I want it real light just for a little background. I am going to go ahead and glue this one inside. I have this strip of paper left over and I am going to use it on my envelope. This envelope was actually left over from a paper pumpkin, so it does look a little bit different than our normal envelopes. I am going to go ahead and glue that down and then just trim this off. When you cut your six by six to uh, four by five and a quarter. You always have this strip left. I used to save the strips. Now I go right ahead and put them on the envelope so I don't lose them. And I have my card. Hi, Elfie. Thank you from Canada. You love the card. Thank you. So the, again, this is my fake flip card. Here's the other one. Quick, simple, easy card, but it looks so cute, doesn't it? So those are the two flip cards. I will bring in the other cards. This is the one from my class. I didn't quite finish it. We'll finish that later. From the Tidings and Trimming Bundle. Oh, thank you, Sam, and thank you for tuning in. I know over there it's late for my friends across the pond, but thank you. This is another one I did. I'm just gonna show you all of the cards again. Merry and bright. And there will be still shots. Thank you, Patricia. Oh, thank you, Darlene. There we have that one. And then of course, the little teaser card for Monday night YouTube Live using the Whimsy and Wonder. I even have my idea already planned out for my scrapbook Sunday, next Sunday with this set. So I hope you enjoyed, whoop, there we go. I hope you enjoyed Facebook Friday morning. I hope you all have a great weekend, although I think it's going to be rainy here, but it's a great stamping weekend.
I will see you back here next Friday morning at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will see you on YouTube Monday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And don't forget to check out on Sunday my Scrapbook 101 with Christmas in July. Have a great weekend, everybody, and keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.